I went back up behind that rock pile right there, and this fish ate just the second I dipped it right into the biggest boil back there. And it's a dandy. But it's all about that dip. Take a look at that fish. here boys I got my boys doing the video work for me the last couple of days it's been a lot of fun because I do these videos and they get to learn all the inside scoop at the same time so I'm just gonna we gotta take one quick look I landed him pretty fast he's still pretty hot all right let's take a look there he goes right there Oh, look at that. That fish rooster tailed us, didn't he? We'll have to clean that camera. Okay, so yesterday I filmed a video that just teaches you a little mantra. Lift, dip, lead. And one thing after watching it I didn't emphasize enough is the dip. You just saw me catch a beautiful rainbow out of here. And one of the huge advantages to Euro-style Euro nymphing is the fact that I can drop this tippet in vertically and measure my way to the bottom by watching this cider. It's very important that you dip at the exact right rate. You dip too fast, you make slack in the line, which ends up drifting poorly, or you snag on the bottom. The dip is how you measure your way to the bottom and get your fly to suck down into fast water like that and hopefully find yourself a good trout. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find another one in there. Maybe even bigger than that last one. So I'm going to get my cast set up right. You only get one chance to make a first trip. So I'm going to lift. I'm dipping, dipping, dipping. I just found the bottom. And now I'm going to lead. Just like that right there. Okay, I need to dip a little bit more. I'm dipping, dipping. I found the bottom again right down there. The other thing about the dip is the contour of the bottom is going to change throughout the drift. So while you might be making contact one moment, if you lose contact, either by feel or watching your cider, you dip down more to follow the contours, especially when fishing down a hill. of chunks and so what I'm doing is I'm constantly you know feeling boulders and I'm having to lift it over the boulder and then dip in behind it so there's a little strapper right there all right we'll take it there we go nice little strapper right there all right, let's go in there again. It's taken me a little bit to kind of figure out where all those boulders are, but you kind of have to dip it back in behind all those boulders. Not 
another one. stonefly nymph right there that's one cool thing about fishing stoneflies on a euro rig is you can kind of manipulate them and give them a little action and make them look like they're crawling and working their way along the bottom it's pretty tough to do that with an indicator so hopefully that tip helps the dip is everything it's how you measure your way down to the bottom you find the bottom and then you once you establish that contact you lead and maintain that contact if you lose it you dip again so you might dip lift dip lift dip lift very carefully several times throughout the trip i hope this information makes you a better nymphish 